Hello there. Uh, welcome to the presentation of one of my latest paintings. I'd like to give a rundown of the different techniques that I've used, different materials, uh, the canvas that I've used, just to give an overview of, of some of the things that I, I make. Okay, so for these thicker areas here, I don't know how apparent it is on the video, I've used mask these areas off with masking tape and then used a thick acrylic gel combined with other materials I, I even use things like decorators cork but with at least 50 percent of fine acrylic gels because i don't want to risk it cracking or shrinking and i think this is acceptable uh, you can use acrylic mediums uh, combined acrylic me mediums with many different sorts of things uh, so and I haven't seen any problem with it cracking or shrinking or or coming away from from the canvas at all so I'm, I'm happy that this is the case and it's important especially if you're thinking of selling your work to do that experimentation is good but you have to be, be careful of the quality of the work that you produce now I've also combined papers, um, other areas of thick gel which is, has been put on neat and moved around and manipulated. Uh, here, here I've used Liquitex acrylic ink, which is a very nice product. Um, still investigating the light fastness of it because uh, there, there's a limited amount of colours and uh, on, on my usual paints, which I use uh, Winter and Newton uh, acrylic paints, um, not, prime, not all the time, but um, quite a lot of the time, um, because I've learned uh, w through research what is actually light fast. And, and also, with a limited palette, you can choose just a few colours, um, two reds, two greens, two blues and a, and a few other supplementary colours which um, you will get to know how they combine. They, they all have a bias towards another colour, say a yellows, uh, one yellow cadmium yellow has a bias towards orange and lemon yellow has a bias towards green and what, one, when you can understand uh, the principles behind it, you have a lot more control I and mean, you don't have to spend lots of money in getting all different pigments and you can stick with a few. Um, you can do these uh, colour charts which are a great help into the L2 and some different tones you can get. Many different ones you can make and I've made lots of them in the time. Very useful. Okay so the, with, uh, with Liquitex ink I put it on its back, drip it on there, let them combine and that move it around with, the, with an airbrush. You can let it splatter, you can move the lines around, you can help to combine in some places, let it dry a little bit more, let it dry and then some of the wet areas, have a go at it again, try and get the effect you like. And it's actually a fun technique to use because sometimes, especially if you're doing detailed drawings, representational drawings, it became, became a real struggle and it's nice to be able to do a technique which allows you a bit more freedom. Uh, I've used a box canvas, I quite often use box canvas, well mostly use box canvases because they can be hung without a frame. Uh, you paint around the sides which is uh, all good, not always uh, the best, the most enjoyable part of it, but uh, it does allow for more hanging options, you don't have to frame it. Well, that's my first presentational video. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you got something from it. And um, in, my, in later videos, I'll go a little bit more into some of the techniques I used and do some time lapse videos and just see how it goes. But, Thank you. Take care.